Hello everyone, this is Reza Dorani. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will show you how to create tabbed forms in Power Apps. We will leverage a simple horizontal gallery control and add a button to create the tabbed forms experience. So let's get started with the video. I have a simple SharePoint list here that is based on the Microsoft list template content scheduler. And for this list, I have gone ahead and customized the form using Power Apps. If I click on new, this will launch the custom Power App form in the context of SharePoint. And as part of my Power Apps form, I have multiple fields. And since there are multiple fields to fit on the screen, and this form is in a one column layout, I have this scroll bar experience. Now, how do I go about breaking this form up into multiple tabs? Let's start with going to Power Apps in the ribbon and clicking on Customize Form. And this now launches the Power Apps Studio experience. I will first create some space on the top here to insert the tabs. To create the tabs experience, I will insert a horizontal blank gallery. I will place this gallery right here on the top. And in this gallery, I will go ahead and insert a button control. So edit the gallery and insert a button. I will select the template of the gallery and adjust the width. To create a tab-like experience, the button control has a property called radius, which basically creates those rounded edges kind of an experience. So for creating a tab-like experience, I will adjust the radius top left and let's make this 20. And then for the radius top right property, I will set this to 20 as well. And just by making that change, you see how the button control has these rounded edges on the top, creating a tab like experience. Now next for this gallery, if you look at the items property, it's the custom gallery sample data that gets applied. So I will replace this with the tab names that I would like to create in my scenario. Now this property expects tabular data. So I will go ahead and create a very simple table. So I'll call the table function and within this, I need to define my records. So I will create my first record by opening the curly braces. And for each record, I will add two properties, the ID of my tab and the label of my tab. So ID colon one label, colon info. So I'm creating a tab where the label would be info. Next, I want to create my second tab. So for this, I will just go and copy the first record, place it right here. And this would be position number two. And my label in this case would be, let's say details. And I will add my final tab, which would be three. And I will call this my attachments tab. Once I'm done with this, I will go ahead and close my table. So right now I've created a table that has three records. And that's why if you look at the gallery, it creates three button controls. For these buttons within the gallery, if I head over to the text property, I can replace this now with this item dot label. And this will place the name of those labels that I passed as part of my gallery items property right in the button controls text. I can adjust the width of my button so I can make this wider. Also for the gallery, I can remove the template padding. So I'll set it to zero. So the tabs now are closer to each other. Next for my buttons, for the fill property, I will put the color which matches the theme of my app. So the buttons have the same color as the app theme. Next, I will adjust the height of my gallery right here. And then I can move my form to touch the base of those buttons. I would also like to center align this. So I will just position the horizontal gallery accordingly. Now, if I preview this app, this is the tabbed like experience that got created. Now, when the user selects a specific tab, or the user is on a specific tab. In that case, I would like to show specific columns from my SharePoint form. So for the information tab, 
I would like to show the title content type and description. So for that, if I click on the title data card, and if I head over to the visible property, the visibility is currently set to true. Now I need to make this visible when the user is selected a specific tab. Now to know which tab is clicked, I will store that information in a variable. So when this button is clicked, that is on select, we will go ahead and plug in a very simple formula set where tab selected as this item dot ID. So the ID of the tab will get stored in this variable when the user clicks on a specific tab. Now for the information tab, the ID is one. If I go to the items property of the gallery, that's where I have that information. So now for this title card, I will change the visibility to variable is equal to one. So if I preview the app, if I click on info, I will see the title card. If I click on details or attachments, I will not see that title card. So that title card is a part of the information tab. Now I need to apply the same logic to the other cards. So for content type, and if I hold the control key, I can select additional cards. So I can select description, content type, and status. Head over to the visible property for these three cards and set this to where tab selected is equal to one. So these cards will show up when the information tab is selected. Now for my details tab, I would like to show the status, the draft due by, the published by, as well as the published link. So I will select those four data cards by holding the control key to select multiple cards, head over to the visible property and set it as follows. Where tab selected is equal to two. And finally, for my attachments column, I will set the visible property to where tab selected is equal to three. Now, if I preview my app, these are the columns in my info tab. These are the columns in my details tab. And these are the columns in my attachments tab. When the user launches this app, I would like to set the default tab to info. So for that, in my SharePoint integration object, because I'm using a SharePoint customized list form, if I head over to the advanced tab, we have functions for new mode of the form, edit mode of the form and view mode of the form. So in each of these functions, I will go ahead and set that variable to one. So this ensures that whenever the user launches the form, this variable is set to one. So it will straight away reflect the info tab. The info tab is currently selected. However, there is no visual indicator to highlight the info tab being selected. So for that, if I head over to the button control and head over to the fill property, I will add a simple conditional formula. If the selected tab variable is equal to this item dot ID, in that case, keep the color as my purple color of my app, else set the color as gray. Now, if I go ahead and preview this app, you will see the visual indicator of the selected tab. So right now the info tab is selected. If I click details, it switches over to the details tab. And if I click on attachments, it will switch over to the attachments tab and the conditional formatting of the buttons clearly highlights that. Now that I have my form broken out into tabs using the simple concept of a gallery control and a button, I will now go ahead and save and publish to SharePoint. Now, if I head back to my SharePoint list and if I create a new item, I will see the latest changes of my power apps form being applied right here. And here is my tab experience that was built out. If I pick an existing record and this time the form opens up in view mode, once again, I can see that same tabbed experience. If I edit a record, it will open the form in edit mode and observe how at all times when the new form opens, the first tab is selected. The same concept also applies to standalone power apps in which you can create 
a tabbed like form experience. If you enjoyed this video, then do like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.